Hey, what's up guys? As you can see here, I've got my trusty old iPhone 4, but check this out. Look at that. I didn't use the power button on the top here. I did not even touch any button or the screen or anything to turn on my screen. So what I'm demonstrating here is this really cool tweak called Sleek Sleep. And the reason why I got it is because ever since the Moto X released by Motorola, it's an Android phone, they've had this really cool feature where if you like take it out of your pocket, it uses the proximity sensor to automatically turn the, the display of the phone on. And ever since I saw that, I thought, wow, that is really cool. Would it be possible to do something like that on the iPhone? And there was this tweak called Always On Proximity that I tried for a little bit, but I ended up deleting it because whenever I swiped over the proximity sensor or whenever it's detected that it was close to something, it would yes, turn the screen off, but it never really locked my device. And if I did lock my device, I couldn't use the proximity sensor to properly unlock it again. So it was quite a long time when I last tried that tweak and this one is fairly new. So what it does is it addresses the problems that that old one had. So what I can do is swipe over or I guess in front of the proximity sensor and it'll lock the device. I don't know if you probably wouldn't be able to hear that because I'm using an external mic here but it did play the lock sound and it did properly lock my device and if I go over it again oh didn't do it right if I go over it again there you go it has unlocked the device so this is some kind of functionality that I've really wanted because I've got a replacement for the home, uh, the home button. As you can see here, if I just swipe to the right, or rather from the right, it goes to multitasking and that's really all I ever used the home button for. And now I've got a replacement for the power button. And reasons why I have things like these is because, I mean, this phone is really old and as you guys who have used iOS devices for a while would know, the buttons do wear down quite a bit over the years. So in order to be able to, I guess, preserve how they are, I'm using these kind of workaround solutions and they're actually really nice. I really prefer being able to swipe over the proximity sensor. So what I'm going to do now is go over to the bottom here and see the preference pane here for sleek sleep. So you can see here I've got an option to say that it's enabled. Sensor insomnia, as it says down there, um, it'll just be keeping the proximity sensor on while the phone is locked. Now, you'd think that would use a little bit of power and I'll address that in a moment. So you've got the third option here, disable while calling, fairly self-explanatory. Fourth option here, portrait only, so you can turn that on and off if you just want to be able to use it when your phone is in portrait orientation. You've got the fifth uh, option here for activator event. So this app, sorry, this tweak does have hooks into activator. So if you like to use activator actions for things, you know, you can use sleek sleep for that. And you've got a whole lot of customization here, including here at the bottom, how many swipes it needs to detect in order to be able to perform your desired action. So if I were to set that option there to two, I would need to swipe two fingers above the proximity sensor in order for it to perform the desired action. So I was going to talk about power management and you'd think that because there is yet another sensor on the iPhone that normally is turned on and off every now and then but is now on all the time, you'd think it would use up some battery. Now I can say from having used this tweak for the past few weeks, uh, there has been absolutely no hit in terms of performance or battery life. Like I said, um, you know, just swipe in front and it locks the device. It's this really cool kind of functionality that I've always wanted. No impact on battery life or performance whatsoever. In fact, it's just a really good benefit because it saves you from having to click that button and wear it down. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to demonstrate this tweak called Sleek Sleep. You can find it on, I believe, the Big Boss repo through Cydia as a premium package. All right, guys, that's as for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.